guys, this look has been inspired by my environmental biology class that I've taken over this semester, and we have been talking about pollution and all the things that humans are doing to this earth, all the bad things that we are doing, polluting and everything, and dumping. This look is the aftermath of it. The dumping has created a monster, so to speak. Without further ado, let's begin this look. Hey guys, we're going to be blocking off the eyebrows with the glue stick. We're going to take the glue stick and completely go through the eyebrow. As you see, I have a beard, so I have to block off the beard with the same method. We're going to be taking water and we're going to be smoothing it out with your fingertips. Once you smooth it out with your fingertip, we're going to wait for it to dry. Take translucent powder and we're going to set the beard and the eyebrows. I'm going to be taking the bald cap and adjusting it properly to the best of my ability and I'm going to be taking an adhesive and I'm going to be putting it where the ball cap will lay. I put the adhesive on and I am dabbing it so it can be tacky so the bald cap can stick to it and I'm going to be smoothing it out for the ear section of the bald cap you're going to be cutting it like you see you're going to cut it very slowly because it will tear add adhesive to the places where you want to cover like you see that I'm doing you're going to be doing that around the whole head we're going to be taking liquid latex and then we are going to be taking toilet paper we're going to take a tongue depressor and we're going to take some liquid latex and we're going to cover the whole front part. Take a little piece of paper and we're going to rip it up a little bit and we're going to place it on the bald cap as you see. Once you place that, you're going to give another coat of liquid latex and we're going to be adding layers to it so it can become the forehead of this monster creature. We're going to be doing that all around the whole face like you see and we're going to be bringing it back to the back of the bald cap just half of the head. We're gonna be taking cotton, opening up like so, and then we're gonna be dipping it in latex. We're gonna take it, we're gonna be placing that where we made the layer like so. We're gonna take it, place it, and we're gonna be smoothing it out with your fingers. And we're gonna be raising it by pulling it like you see. We take another one and we do the exact same thing. It's easier looked at in the video than to be said. We're gonna take a bigger piece to add more volume to this headpiece like you see and we're going to be smoothing it out and we're going to make a little point right there in between the eyebrows and we're going to point it out. We're going to take the cotton and then we're going to be dipping it in the latex as you see. We're going to be making a circular shape and we're going to be putting it raised on my face and we're going to be smoothing it out. We're going to complete the circle on the top of the eyebrow and we're going to be smoothing it. I took the tongue depressor and I'm pulling the cotton like so, so it can be more sunken in. I want a little bit of cheekbones in this creature, so I took some cotton again and dipped it in latex and I put it where my cheekbones naturally lie and I'm smoothing it out and also raising it like so. I'm taking liquid latex and covering the whole bottom half of my face like so and we're gonna be taking tissue paper and we're gonna cover that area. Once you put a layer of liquid latex, you put the tissue and then you put another layer of liquid latex and put another layer of tissue. We're gonna be taking duct tape. We're gonna take the duct tape and we're gonna fold it together like so. And we're gonna double it so it can be a little bit more secure. I bend the piece that I just did so it can lie comfortably on my face. That's gonna be the mouthpiece. I put the adhesive on it and also tapped it so it can get tacky. I put it on the bottom half of my face like so. I'm taking liquid latex and I'm applying a layer of it and a layer of tissue. For the top half, I do the exact same thing with the tape and I'm adjusting it to my face. I take adhesive and I put it on both ends of the tape. You take the liquid latex and you apply a layer and tissue paper. I take a brush and liquid latex and I brush it over I took duct tape again and we're making spikes for the top of the headpiece. We're going to be making triangles. Very easy, very simple. We're going to make pointed triangles by folding the tape on the sticky side. Make sure that the bottom part of it is left with a little bit of tape so it can glue on the skin. Adhere it to the bald cap like so. I wanted three in the middle and one on each side like depicted in the video. 
we're gonna be adding liquid latex and tissue paper to make it seamless. This is an underwater creature, so I decided to make gills. It's a very simple way. I apply liquid latex where my collarbones lie, and I'm gonna be adding a layer of liquid latex and a layer of tissue. And I did about three layers, like so, with a brush I found easy. And with your fingertips, you're gonna smooth it out. I decided to make my ears a bit pointy because it is a monster by taking cotton, dipping it in latex, and creating a point. I took tissue paper to cover my ear. Once you get that out of the way, we're going to set the entire look with translucent powder. Once you set the face, you're going to take black face paint on a small brush and you're going to be darkening the hollow parts of your face beginning with the eye sockets we're going to be painting the entire mouthpiece inside black we're going to be painting it with light strokes with the headpiece we're going to be darkening the inside of it because i wanted to make it look very deep and after i applied the black I blended it with my fingertip to make it a bit smoky. And I did that for both sides on the inside of the headpiece. I also go in with the black face paints on both sides of the spikes to create more depth so it can look more sunken in the head. I also put black on the outside of the headpiece to create shadow. I darken in certain spots of the forehead to create more depth also. I take the black face paint and I apply some in the front and the back part of the cheekbones so it can pop out a bit more. And we're gonna be taking that also around the whole mouthpiece and to darken up the inside of the ear. And we're gonna be taking the black face paint sides of the gill. I'm doing windshield wiper motions on my scalp with the black face paint to create specks. Once you did that, you're gonna take green face paint and we're gonna be applying it to the whole face neck and body you can also do dabbing motions like i did to get it even and we're gonna paint the entire face the head chest and neck like i said after i paint the face i go down to the neck and then i paint my gills and then I paint the rest of the body. I go in again with another layer of the green face paint. I darken the original black parts of the face. The specks that I was referring to are shown right now. These specks are like age spots. They make them look a bit more aged. I'm going in windshield wiper motions as shown. I do it on both sides of the scalp. I take the black face paints and I outline the sockets of the eye to create some depth and I darken the cheekbones and I blend it out with my finger. I also outline the mouthpiece. I also darken the headpiece spikes and I bring it upwards. I create the same specs that I did on the head to my body to make it look more aged as I said and make it more strange like. I create lines, little lines like that. I created these teeth with clay and once you get the teeth, you're gonna be taking black and we're gonna be putting it on the top of the teeth. I also add yellow eyeshadow and brown eyeshadow to create some age on the teeth. I just toss it around in a container so it can get evenly coated and I apply the adhesive on the, the tooth and I tap it to get tacky and I put it inside. I put it in the mouthpiece. I arrange this randomly. I put them inside the mouthpiece by sticking it to the inside of the tape like so. I'm gonna be taking green eyeshadow and coating it around the whole entire face. And I'm gonna be taking brown eyeshadow and applying it to the spikes of my head. And I also surround the spikes with the brown eyeshadow. I surround the headpiece with brown also. To make it look a bit more dirty, I applied brown eyeshadow around the darkened area. I take black eyeshadow and I deepen the contour marks of the cheekbone. I apply the green eyeshadow all around the body. I also darken up my collarbones with black eyeshadow. I wanted to apply a little bit of highlight, so I decided to take yellow eyeshadow and apply it to the high points of my face and chest. I take it on the 
collarbones and the outside of my shoulder. I decided to add a little bit of glam, so I decided to take a gold highlighter and apply it to my collarbone, my cupid's bow in a sense, and my head. I decided to take orange and brown eyeshadow to the eyes on a big fluffy brush and blend it. I take the NYX Cosmetics Liner and Smudger. It's a very nice liner and I line my waterline and I do my liner. I also take that NYX Smudger and darken up all the dark spots of my face. I apply some purple eyeshadow to the whole entire face, neck and body so it can add some color to it. I apply some yellow contact to make it look a bit more lagoon-like. I decided to take blood and I applied it, which is a really easy recipe of glycerin and food coloring. I take FX gelatin, which is an equal part of gelatin and glycerin and water. I decided to use the FX gelatin as drool, which a monster would have. I decided the look wouldn't be complete without moss. I added some moss all around my head, randomly assorting it, because perfect does not look good. And I apply it around my scalp and on my cheekbones. And I decided to take two chest pieces and applying it to both sides of my chest. I wanted to apply shadow to the moss, as you see with black eyeshadow. I applied it on the bottom of each piece and I blend it out. And once you've done that, you are completed with the look. I hope this look makes you guys not pollute this world because we all are living in this world and we do not want any monster of any sort to come up and get us. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, please do so and like this video and share it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Goodbye guys, bye.